Uh, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, at first I'm gonna show you how to create your soldier to animate. That's pretty easy. Um, you have the Battlefield Mod Development Tools which can c contain a folder Max Scene File Examples. Here you can uh, look at some a animation examples and we will use this Rust Soldier 3P um, as a base soldier that helps us animate. So, we'll open this one. Yeah, some warnings. I have to ignore them. Yes, okay, okay. Now, uh, this is a pretty nifty and small scene. which gives us the p perfectly skinned and especially with a skeleton skinned um, soldier in Battlefield. And the basic animation is in as well, the standard walk animation. Uh, but uh, we don't need this because all animations are based on the run animation. So the walk animation is actually pretty bad for this use. So uh, step one select everything and select all the keyframes because keyframes suck. So, this is the standard position which you can see as well is already the run animation and the position. Pretty nice as well, okay. So, uh, next step, this is ac actually it. You can use it. Pretty nice. Um, okay, so let's save it. Somewhere. Okay, here I am going to code the grease gun. So let's save it here as soldier max. Okay, that's about it. Now, the next step would be to get the weapon in, in his hands, because currently this looks rather stupid. We'll give him a weapon to hold. Uh, at first, let's reset everything. Yes. And. Uh, to import weapons correctly, you could import the meshes, but that would not make much sense because you have to get the weapon in in the right position. So, um, if we first import a skeleton, it's important to make this weapon to, to put a check mark here, and then click Import Ski. You can make as boxes, that's uh, helpful. So, bone size 100%, that's alright as well. Now um, we have to import the files. I have them here, I thought. No, I don't have them here. I have them. Yeah, it's been some time since I checked this last. Yes, the an your animations RFR. I unpacked it already for battle group because the grease gun is a battle group weapon and animations. So here you have to check the skeleton files and search your weapon. Mine is the grease gun. So here I click open. Well, I have imported already. Uh, if we take a closer look here at files, you get the uh, bib right hand. This is where the hand is positioned and you get the other files which will be the position of your model. Of course this is not really a weapon, so we'll save this for now. Put it in the same folder, let's try OK. And I'll call it just Gun Skeleton. OK, and another reset, because that's it for now. Now, the next step is to import... You don't need collision... All we need only visible, everything else is unimportant because we only want to animate and we don't need any collision meshes for that. <coughs> now, okay, right, let's click import and now we need our standard mesh. The correct one. Um, there's quite a lot in here, so I'll have to search a bit. Crease gun Yes, okay. In my case, 
this has only two objects, the grease scan itself and the magazine for it, because that's the only two things that are animated. Okay. Grease gun mag. These are the two parts. So you see these are the two parts, but they have are not correctly positioned already. So yes. Now the trick is uh, to get them positioned correctly, I have to rename them. Uh, exactly the same as they have are named in the skeleton. So I call this base. I call this one mag. And that's about it. A base, a Mac, that's all. There's no trigger animation here because nobody sees that anyway. Have that as well. Again in the grease gun and call it gun. That's it. Okay, now let's return to the skeleton of the gun. Um, yes, here are some additional ones because the coder who did this uh, did make some mistakes and didn't delete these because nobody needs them. So I can delete the plop and the trigger and only have the base. Oh, it's important, these are case sensitive because I, so this is, I have to change these. Okay, now I can go File, Replace. Now I select my gun and now I can replace my two boxes in this scene with the uh, weapon from the other scenes. Yes, let's replace it. And now we see everything fits perfectly. The magazine is where it belongs. And you can also see that the gun is a bit tilted. This is because the hand uh, itself, because this this one, this helper box which displays the hand. Um, yes, because the uh, is also always a bit tilted and that's why we use the skeleton. Because if you import it directly you'd have to go through a lot of hassle to ma uh, place the gun manually, correctly in the hand. And this makes things a lot easier. So, we can save this. Yes, we can over write the skeleton, just like that. That's about it for now. So now we go to the soldier. And because I'll hide this for now, because nobody needs the body, and this one now. And we make the hands. I like to make them see-through so I can see the skeleton underneath. Um, as well as freeze it. So, uh, we have here the somewhere. This is the BIP01 right hand. This is the main uh, hand control bone. Uh, this is where the gun will be imported to. So, now if we get the gun in, we can use merge gun. No, gun skeleton, my bad. So, and select which ones we need. We need all these. Three. Okay, has the same name. Blah blah blah. Mage. That's all right. No, that was not the intention. My bad. Now I'm confused. Yes, exactly. This is correct. So we want the base to be reparented to BIP0 right hand which one in the scene. So, perfect. It's placed perfectly in the hand. There are some minor mistakes because the, it has no custom animation already and it uses standard position. So the finger is a bit off and especially this looks pretty ugly. The left hand uh, actually groping through the gun. That's pretty bad, yes. So, yeah, that's about it for the importing part. Um, in the next step, we're going to go start the first animations for this and get a basic layout done.